what's going on YouTube. So in this video, I'm going to show you how I installed the snorkel on my 80 series. Stick around because I actually took a different approach to it. Thanks for watching. Be sure to stick around for the end of the video where I tell you guys about a surprise that I have planned. So I actually took a different approach for this snorkel install. I was able to find a passenger side fender that was already perfectly drilled for the snorkel. A local 80 series guru who goes by the name of Death Valley Paul was able to help me out. While my dad got to work on the fender, I figured I'd take care of a couple things that I wanted to change on the Land Cruiser. For example, the PCV valve, which ended up not wanting to come out, so I totally scratched that idea. I didn't really need to change the air filter, but I figured since that was easy enough, I might as well. So you can see here, my dad's working on the bolts on the inside of the fender. There's also four or five bolts on top of the fender inside the engine bay. And while he's still working on that, I figured I'd change the oil too. There's also a bolt hidden underneath the hood cowl. To get to that, we had to undo the Phillips screws that were holding down the cowl, and we used a ratcheting wrench to remove the bolt. And after removing the bolt that was hidden within the door jamb and removing the antenna, we were able to get the fender off. So next we had to swap over the fender flare, which required removing a couple 10mm bolts and a couple of tabs. It was then we realized something about the fender. The heck? It's black! So this fender must have been replaced at some time. I have to thank Death Valley Paul again for the fender that I'm swapping in. So if anybody in the Southern California area needs any OEM parts for their 80 series, contact Death Valley Paul. I'm pretty sure he has it. Next, we moved on to mounting the bracket that holds the snorkel in place. I don't remember the size of the drill bit that we had to use, but we just worked our way up until the rivets would fit. And since all the holes for the studs on the snorkel fit perfectly, all we had to do was mount the fender back up. From there, it was pretty straightforward. It was just a matter of lining up all the studs to the holes that were already pre-drilled. It took a while to get the tubing from the snorkel to the airbox to fit, but after some cutting, we were able to make it work. From the moment I owned the 80 series, I knew I wanted to mount a snorkel, so I'm very happy that we were finally able to do that. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. Do you guys prefer it with a snorkel or without a snorkel? Thanks again. Okay, so now that you're at the end of the video, I want to tell you about the giveaway that I'm having to celebrate the fact that I finally hit 300 subscribers. It's very easy to enter. All you have to do is follow the link below. You're going to visit my channel page. You're going to visit my Instagram page, which will actually get you an extra entry into the giveaway. So after clicking the link below, you're going to log in with your YouTube account and visit my channel page. While you're there, please consider subscribing. It really helps me out. And for your second entry, just visit my Instagram page as well. So thanks again, guys. Really thank you for watching all my videos and stay tuned for the giveaway.